Hello everybody, welcome to another live playing game. We've got Eliod with Underworld in blue versus Nico Daz with Underworld in red. In the booth with me is Hancock. Hello. Oh yeah, hi. A A A, etc. Hmm. Yes, very, very much A A Aing. Um people missed that at the start of the stream because there was no there was no response from you because <laughs> you hadn't turned your microphone on by. I did get a lot of AAAs in at the start of the stream, so that was very nice. So um yeah, we've got Eliod with a with not a standard team. He's got a troll that gives in this format there's no inducements available. So he's gone for five rerolls. And it was either basically take a troll and or um you know, or, or like just give up loads of TV, right? Like, so people have just given up loads of TV. You can see here there's three cheerleaders and two assistant coaches for Nick or Daz uh, to get his roger. And then, yeah, Elliot's got stack the shoe heads. The shoe heads? Yeah, stack the shoe heads. <laughs> <laughs> stack the sidestep and two heads. Uh, Mighty Blow, a bit of a banger. Guard, a bit of a banger. And then uh, two uh, extra arms there for the one turn and just picking up in general, right? But especially the one turn, the uh, one in nine is such a big single point of failure, isn't it, on the on the uh, one turn? So he's mitigated that. And then Nico does is apparently picked skills out of a hat, is the way he's <laughs> gone. He's got two heads on the thrower. He's got strip ball on the gutter and claw on the blitzer. Um, that's pretty wild, but a block rogue is pretty nice, isn't it? But the rest is... Like, those three skills are really weird, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're just not very what is considered Underworld meta at the moment, is it? Yeah, not at all. But, you know, look, he's he's won his first game. Yeah. And they're still obviously, Underworld. Obviously a good player, but it might just be proving the point that, you know, skills are secondary to coach skill. <laughs> yeah, he's won, a, he's won a major on Fumble. Uh, of course, Elliot's won two majors on Fumble. Um but uh, yeah, Nick Odas has won a major on Fumble, so he certainly knows how to play a Blood Bowl and obviously he qualified for this. So, I mean, if you qualify for this, you must be great. Because I did. Uh... <laughs> or you, you have a copy of Blood Bowl 3. Either or is possible, I think. True, yeah, yeah. If you played about 50 games, you're probably in this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How to show heads. Sure heads and sneaky dick, yeah, yeah. Sneaky dick sounds a lot funnier than sure heads, doesn't it? The sure heads wasn't wasn't so good. So the rogue is not hitting the uh, troll. Oh, of course he's going to claw the troll. Yeah, the claw is hitting the troll, isn't it? At least I presumed it was. Mhm. Mm but now he's, you know, if he gets a push, he's not going to be too happy about it. Is it? I think I would have like not activated with a troll till the end, and then see if you know, see if he uh, like hit that guy in front of him with a wrestler, and then see if you have to hit the troll with him. But he he doesn't, and he gets away with it. Gets the pow. Does nothing. Phew. If he'd had claw mighty blow, of course he'd have still done nothing because claw has been nerfed. Not the powerhouse it once was. But still better than not having Claw and Mighty Blow, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's still, it's still all right. French kiss. Fantastic. Hello, Steve. So Elliot won the Battle of Swarming there, didn't he? They, they both had max snotlings, um, and Nico has only got one. Elliot got two. And he's survived the LOS without anybody getting removed. Which I'm sure yeah, he'll be, be ecstatic deal, about. Be in the mm. Interesting that he's gone the, the the mighty blow blitzer, isn't it? Because if he'd had a guard, he could have uh, jumped up and blitzed the uh, roger, whereas now maybe he's going to go in and blitz the claw. I don't think he will, though, do you? I think he'll try and three dice something. And just go for players. Do you think he's. Uh, oh, all right, okay. Yeah, especially when you're already players up, right? Yeah. Whittle away some snotlings, get access to, to the key players a lot easier. I think that's the way you have to play it, really. Yeah. All right, I'm sharing if you I'm sharing on Discord if you want to watch live, by the way. Excellent. It doesn't go for a 3D, but he does hit a uh, an unprotected clan rat. 
and casses him. Oh. Elliot's equity rising, along with his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's just going to be an interesting match to be honest, because I, I don't actually think I've seen an Underworld off yet you know, in, in that format No, I, I mean I've barely seen I, you know, I know you play a little bit of tabletop don't you and uh, yeah. obviously Fumble there's been Underworld has been around for a while and uh, I haven't really played Blood Bowl 3 very much so uh, you know Underworld season I've barely, I've barely played um so yeah, really, there's um, glorious. I haven't really no, seen much I of Underworld at all, in. <laughs> you know, ever. Until oh, I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Whoa. Fifty months, baby. Fifty months from finding unbelievable. Twelve and a half beavers, <laughs> and an unbelievably a four-year streak. There you go. Thank you very much, finding unbelievable, unbelievable. And of course, Elliot leaves his guys lying down. At Expected as much. It's Elliot, of course. It's trademark. <laughs> it is, yeah, he loves lying down. The lock only gets a stun. Nick will be feeling diced. He will a little bit, won't he? And he's basically yeah, done nothing. Yeah. Got all his LOS blocks and two blitzes and nothing. <laughs> Obviously, instant full injury from Elliot. <laughs> yeah. And he's exposed a snotling. Elliot, of course, protecting his snotlers last turn. And now there is a snotling exposed by Nick or yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Because um, you would have thought, like, uh, without knowing the team too much, you would have thought, oh, snotling's obviously the most disposable. They'd be all in exposed, but Elliot tends to put, like, line rats in his blitzer and stuff out first. Yeah. And goblins, obviously. Yeah. Well, a wise man once said, well, sorry, a stupid, stupid people once said uh, rogues are great because they can just eat the snotling when they uh, when they animal savagery. And then a wise man said, "But I don't want to. I don't want to remove my own players. Sorry, flashlights. <laughs> even if, Go even fuck if they are snot snotlings, you know, like that's the thing, isn't it? Like, yes, it, okay, he's only a snotling, but he's a player that can, you know, has got it. Like, you know, a, well, I don't know, two thirds of a tackle zone, maybe even three quarters of a tackle zone. Like, he, you know, he's he's m making people dodge on a three plus. Like normal players dodging a three plus is really quite good, isn't it? Yeah, it's very very good yeah. considering the, the the value. Yeah, so maybe he's got four fifths of a tackle zone even, and then you know, and he, and he can foul and he can assist blocks and he can get thrown and he can do all sorts of things. Move five squares, I mean seven squares if he cheerfies. Like they're, they're they're players that help you win a game of Blood Bowl. So no, I don't want to just eat them with my roger, Thank you very much, and I don't want people to hit them and pop them every time they hit them, which is looks like Elliot might do here. He's got the power. Instant. The first thing he does is just instant blitz the snotling there. Yeah, it's always going to be. Yeah, removes him. And there's a player down. Like, you know, it's, <coughs> it's almost that's quite a big to... player advantage Elliot's got now, right? Mm. Yeah, it's... So two men down, plus he's got an extra one from Swarming, so he's got a three-man advantage. Did Elliot get two from Swarming or three? Elliot got two. And, ah, uh, okay, the other guy got one, yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Nico. Ah, Olivia Dulac here. Going against the grain. <laughs> Nico's French, then. That would that would make sense, yep. Yep. Diced. Comedy mega. I mean, he's not, he's not had the dice this game, I'll tell you that. For, for sure. Um, Olivier, sorry to disappoint you if you're... Uh, and Nick or Daz fan, because this is not going great for him so far. There's still a lot of game left, isn't there? Yeah, loads of game left. It'd be Could interesting be. to see, like, whether whether he just he tries to take space or he tries to fight in the middle, or you know, is he is he going to go for an early score and try and utilize the strip ball? I don't really know. Because if you leave it to like turn eight, then it's sort of playing into like the two head sidestep a little bit. Mm. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? It's a tricky. It's a tricky. It's a tricky proposition. I mean, this is why I didn't play them. You know, I just have. I haven't played Underworld. Yeah, don't it takes really experience. Understand. Regardless of how strong they are, it does take experience to obviously get the most out of them. Yeah, yeah. 
and like you know like i always say about you know pc and uh chunter you know like they, they get into situations with dwarves or skaven respectively and they've seen it all a million times before and they know exactly what to do and and all that sort of stuff and you know if you don't have that it's harder isn't it even if they are on paper just a better team than others getting the most out of them does matter and just knowing what to, not even like getting the most out of them also just knowing situationally what to do and stuff isn't it this looks like a very solid early push doesn't it yeah it took up a lot of space but i suppose when you've got like access to movement now it it doesn't it's not a big deal because you can always swap or go back to mid it's fine yeah yeah, we haven't really seen that. Uh, we had we had Chris making a full a full push early one game, and somebody else did. It. I, yeah, surprising. The Cruise push was really surprising. I obviously got like the favour of the dice on the short drive against Valley, but yeah, he nearly he nearly threw it away, didn't he? Basically, <laughs> he, did, yeah. he nearly he nearly threw it away. Like he could he could have cut back to midfield, but it was going to be tough. And I think he realised it was going to be tough if he went back to midfield. So you know, he thought, oh well. I'm Trap like if he had gone back to midfield, maybe he wouldn't have scored at all, and he would have left the felt the half, you know ended the half one nil down. Like if he if he thought that's what was going to happen, he he definitely made the right call, didn't he? So it, it's interesting because it looked strong, but then his next turn he was absolutely screwed, wasn't he? So yeah, you know that. I wonder if Elliot takes the Snotlin or the Spearhead here. I wonder if he goes Snotlin or the or the wrestle piece. I presume Snotlin, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. I think he'd want to he'd want to go for the the, the deepest player, but. That's a two, two dice one and against wrestle, yeah, and this is three D with. You get your you might be both stamped on. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to. You have to be a bit. I think he'll just shepherd and try and get pressure next turn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's what we'll see from Eliod. Eliod is my shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> Man, do you know what I don't like about Snotlings is how slow the animation yeah, is. What real slow. I guess it seems slow because they're so small, but like it's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this sure looks like a Snotling blitz, doesn't it? But he will trap himself if if he only gets a push. Yeah, leave himself open to the yoga or even the claw. Mm. Um Cruz got the win uh, fine yeah. he did get the win but like he, he nearly lost 2-1 and then uh, Veli failed to pick up a couple of times and uh, got got caught to go 2-0 down so you know he, he ended up he ended up looking a genius Cruz because he, he finished the half 2-0 up instead of you know but instead of 1-0 but it could have easily been 1-1 like really but the easily. spot then permanently gone yeah, yeah, he's he's getting some luck here, isn't he, Elliot? Like that was, yeah. uh, you know. I'm not sure what the the percentage of removal chances. I don't, I don't think you have to get overly lucky, but yeah, a couple in a row that now. Yeah, and he's got like three one in threes, haven't you, to get him on the on the three D? So like, you're pretty likely to knock him down. At least, but like, if you didn't knock him down there, then he sidesteps and he gets he Sticks gets blitzed on, yeah. and gang fouled, and, and then you're in trouble. <laughs> so just just a big knockdown there. Probably the knockdown might have been luckier than the removal. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, you you're gonna have to seriously think about putting it in. To be honest, yeah, I think you do because you, you're taking a a removal a turn and you're not doing anything to the opposition he's going to get a chance to do something crazy yeah yeah he did just do the shepherd thing didn't he it's like it's pretty nice like kind of parallel he could have would have liked a bit more in front but he just couldn't reach could he but if he I mean I think if he could have put a bit more in front he would have been but then on the other hand I guess it does <laughs> he does <laughs> what that puts the reroll here as well wow and see, this is the thing. Like he's hit, he's hit this snotling twice and hasn't knocked him over either time, right? Whereas Elliot has 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 removed a snotling on both hits. So <laughs> so uh, he's definitely had the look there a bit, Elliot. Yeah, I think he might have to put it in. I think yeah, might. stick it in. <laughs> like a sneaky dick. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of built his team a little bit more to. to to play defensively as well, right? Yeah. Well, with the trip ball, you'd think so. 
yeah, strip ball, wrestle, two heads. He's got, he's got, you know, it's definitely a more aggressive defence. Whereas Elliot has gone for the more passive and uh, one turn. There we go. Thinks it in. Mm. So I think Elliot will be confident here, going for the uh, two-one win. But you know, yeah. anything can happen. Wonder if he um, does. Uh, wonder if he does a dacker at all. I suppose it's too short a time to really invest in it. Yeah, I went round. The, the the game had turned the camera around itself, so I just moved it around <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, still full sixteen for Elliot, and down to fourteen max for Nick or Daz, and he cannot get fourteen players in the pitch. No, yeah, he can. Yeah. Oh, I know. He's, yeah, fourteen max, but thirteen here. Yeah, yeah, because he's still got. He's still got. Oh, he's still got three starts on the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. So, but but also he's he's actually, yeah, he's got two on the pitch and then two in reserve if. If uh, if this guy comes back, but for now he's he's only got twelve max for this drive. Well, twelve min as well, isn't he? <laughs> he's got twelve for this yeah, drive. Yeah, yeah, he's got twelve. Yeah, he's got twelve for this drive, and Elliot might only get twelve as well. But chances are, Elliot will have more than twelve. Oh, he hasn't got eleven players on the pitch. I play on Xbox. Oh no! No, he's got. <laughs> Wait, this is the oh my god! I can't bloody count. He's got four off the pitch there, right? So he might get he might get thirteen on. He might get thirteen yeah. on. Oh my god! He was just trying to set up twelve. Yeah. In in my defence, he was trying to set up twelve. That made things more complicated. Oh, that's got the uh, that's got the KO thing back though. That's nice, isn't it? The KO icon is back. How old Goliath? Four. Four. Oh, they're going for the snotlet blitz again. Oh, yeah. Gotta be careful. Get fisted by the Roger. Mmm. Now, this is the thing, like, the. the, the, the he's got re rolls, though, right? Elliot's got the re rolls, so I imagine. Yeah, he's got one or two. Yeah, one or two. I imagine he'll be, you know, re rolling to get the pals and, and, and withdraw to safety. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Jammy with the draw. I mean, he's played Underworld and Underworld. That's, I wouldn't call that very jammy or Alensis, but I think he's... I oh, know he didn't get Underworld and Underworld, did he? It's it's Nick or Daz has got Underworld and Underworld. Nick or Daz got, I think, Nipru has Underworld in the first round and then Elliot's Underworld in the second round. So I think Nick or Daz has had a bit of a bit of a bad draw. But yeah, Elliot got uh, Rambo, didn't he, with All World Alliance or something. So yeah, he got, he got a pretty good first round draw, Elliot, but... Uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say this is a good draw. It's, it's Underworld, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. He's, he's a major winning coach on Fumble. I don't think his... I mean, his, his, his build is unorthodox, shall we say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he might be able to extract loads of value from it. We don't know, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, he's won a major on uh, Fumble. Or Necro. Was it Necro, Jim? Yeah, Necromantic was. Yeah. So there you go. Stick that in your post. How did you get on round one again, Ori? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many wait? How many majors have you won, Ori? Yeah. yeah. Ori. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now. I mean, dwarves into underworld and dwarves into pro elves. That that you don't get any harder than that, right? Underworld are the best team in the game, and pro elves, you know, can score against anybody any time. I would never want to face pro elves. Wait, Elliot is not fielding snotlings on this drive. That's interesting, isn't it? Keeping them for the second half. Or something? Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, I suppose it's just so easy to score on the on the on the two heads guy, right? Mm. But You're look, not going to worry about two, anything. Two two swarmings. So so Nico Daz has got thirteen, and Elliot is has has only got twelve because he can't get more than twelve. Interesting. He's, he's down. Uh, oh yeah. Didn't give himself the chance to. Uh... He did roll a one as well, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just perfect play from from Elliot. <laughs> oh, and he gets to quick snap into the hit. Oh, outrageous! Amazing. Outrageous! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> It's not even, well, honestly, Orient, it's not even be mean. Like Nick, I mean, to be fair, I didn't see the the first game that Nick or Daz played, so I can't judge that. But he hasn't done anything wrong here, has he? Like all he's got is, as we said, like you know, skill choices, right? Like you can't you can't judge somebody. Don't don't judge a book by its skill choices, <laughs> as the old saying goes. <laughs> he 
had to, or I don't know if you saw the drive. Yeah. Yeah, he got he got loads of players banged. He did. He got no damage on his reception, and then he got started getting banged out. So he went in, got it, and you know what's the difference of scoring on turn four or turn eight versus this one turn? Now he's yeah, got so defense with a strip baller, hasn't he? So what we were saying with the um, the two head side step guy, it's just so bang on for the one turn. It's it's not that bad going in early, but like four turns is a lot to be fair, or well, five turns even. It is. It is. I'm sure it wasn't his plan A, but you know. Yeah. Your plan A is to bang out the other team, and he was getting banged out, so <laughs> plan A was out the window. <laughs> I guess the strip ball now, Elliot's got you know, he's got the throw, hasn't he? So the strip ball is counteracted by having a strength three show sure hands player. So the strip ball isn't too, too good. Uh, so yeah, he's got. He's got an injured Snotling, an injured Clamorat, and a KO'd Snotling. Elliot has taken nothing. Doesn't remove a Snotling. He'll be gutted. <laughs> He'll be raging. Yeah, all the success he's had. <laughs> I love that he's just going to open the blocking with the uh, with the troll as well. <laughs> that was the first. Probably going for a vomit, wasn't he? Oh yeah, vomit on the snot. So yeah, you know, not basically zero damage from Elliot here. And uh, now he's now he's down men right on his drive. I really love the Q&E to move the camera. I think that's great. I remember the beta camera was horrendous. But I think the camera now is pretty good. There you go. There's a, there's a good thing. There's a good thing to say about Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> well done, Jim. I, I, that was probably hard for you. But <laughs> it's not. It's you. not. I'd love it to be good. It's not, it's not hard at <laughs> yeah, all. I've got, I've got no hatred for it whatsoever, apart from the hatred that it's, it's given to me, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I know. Hello, Arian. Yeah, that's the thing, sick. Exactly. Like you know, getting turned over and scored on is conceding the game a hundred percent. So, you know, I think I, I'm I'm definitely okay with Nick or Daz going early in that situation. Yeah, I was too. Now, could he have done things to avoid getting in that situation? Maybe, but as it was, I thought it was fine. I'm not hating. I'm just despising. No, but I mean, I don't have like an irrational hatred of her or anything, right? Like it's, it's not like there's no hatred. It's just, it's just disappointment. It's just disappointment. So, um, interestingly, like only one, it's not an exposed rally idea. Yeah. And he's definitely going to probably, definitely going to probably, he's going to go for a, a goblin, I presume. Because that's all he seems to expose. Like when you look at Elliot's position and went, oh wow. <laughs> Brilliant, uh, most reliable big guy, everybody there. Yeah, brilliant player. Brilliant player there, the Roger. Do you, do you remember all these boat. people who said that, that Rogers were the best big guy, right? And I kept saying, no, it's rubbish. <laughs> and everyone was like, no, 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 it's really good. Honestly, trust me, Jim, you've just got to play some naff and you'll see how amazing it is. I still disagree. I don't like casting my own players. <laughs> but he got, he, got a, he got a cast back, didn't he? It's a four plus, but you get plus two for like doing a block or a blitz. Uh, find me, but it is like a four plus, right? <laughs> He's amazing. He removed two players in one blitz. Yeah, yeah. Do you get SPP for hurting your own players? You can't do, can you? No way, Jose. Surely not. <laughs> that would be amazing if you had quite like them then. <laughs> <laughs> Feed them snotlings and hypercharge their SPPs. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> oh man, that would be that would be great.
<laughs> Casting its own chove, then 3 d pulled down and killing itself. That's amazing, Baron Bucky. <laughs> oh, there was a cyanide bug, yeah, of course there was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course there was. Oh man. Yeah, it would actually be it would actually be really funny if you got SPP from killing your own players. <laughs> Yep, goes for the snot. He loves going for these snotlings, doesn't he? And he gets a power every time, just quietly. The KO. Balls. Sackable. Balls. Let's see what he does with his last few scale. Mm, yeah, it's not it's not great, is it? Four plus in yeah. right now, and obviously a three plus in for the two heads guy. Oh, and he goes for the dodge off rather than moving the other guy. So yeah, I wonder if we will see a two heads ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interesting, wait and see. It's not bad, is it? Like, two plus in? No. Sorry, three plus in. I mean, three, three plus, plus in, and then like a five plus. It's the first thing I saw when I saw Elliot using the snotlin as the cage corner. Mm. It was a bit risky if, he, if it stays like this, but it's it's not just, you've got, um, it's it's three three, isn't it? Or is it two three? Two three, yeah, yeah. Two three, yeah. Yeah, one, two, three, four, so we'd have to put in a fella here, and then... Oh, he's gonna he's gonna cast another player here. <laughs> oh, tries to re-roll it. Oh. <laughs> Cazes oh. another of his old players. <laughs> Tell you what, most reliable big guy, isn't it? You know, really good. These I'm eating my words now. Hey, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kale on PC. Everyone else who told me how good the rat ogre was. I, boy, do I feel well. foolish right now. <laughs> that was a clan rat as well. Wasn't it? Yeah, a block clan rat. I think the block was just off the river, right? No, oh, no it was, it was oh, a block clan God. rat, yeah. Yeah, because he's, he's got a block <laughs> one and a wrestle one. <laughs> so that's, I would say, you got to say it's a slight misplay. You've got to put something hittable next to him if, you, if you're going to blitz with him. Or, or just nothing next to him so that at least he just goes stupid, right? Yeah. Like with those two players, like you don't really want to bite either of those players, so just leave him alone so he just goes stupid. Feels like a slight misplay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it. But then also he was pretty unlucky, wasn't he? Like he was pretty unlucky, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, he, he triple this with triple ones on it. The one was a one, one, one. Yeah. And then and then I rolled his own player. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He didn't knock over Elliot and cast himself. <laughs> so he's been pretty unlucky, very unlucky, I'd say so far. Elliot's just popping his snotlings every time he hits them. He couldn't knock one over. So like, even this like traditional defense, like it's, it's it's it doesn't even make a difference, does it really? Because he's just passed it to the two heads, gut runner, yeah, and slipped to everything. Yeah, you can't really defend. Um, There's no logical way to do it. Is that's why I prefer like a little bit high roll he plays on the ball. I think you've got to make it about about the ball, not the attrition, especially when you're on the back foot as it is. Yeah, no, I quite like that. Honestly, the two, the two, three, five to sack the ball yeah. it was, was, you know, probably the best he was going to get. And, because yeah, you, you know, screening is, it's just not going to work versus this gut runner. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it never disappoints the viewers. Yeah, okay, that's a good, that's a good point about the rock. <laughs> it never disappoints the viewers. Is he going to blitz the two? I wonder if blitzing the two heads was the play and then like putting everyone in to hit the roger. Depends how, see if he can keep the ball. Yeah. You'll be devastated you can't blitz a snot then though. Yeah. Literally fuming. Maybe we'll see a troll blitz. No way. <laughs> Elliot wouldn't do such a thing. Nah, He'll probably blitz with the, the blitzer to reposition to be honest. Yeah, but but you could put the troll in like here, right? So that the troll yeah, is on the yeah. log and the 
and the thrower. The troll can throw snotlings. Yeah, yeah. The troll, the troll's really good. It gives you like a throw teammate, like so it gives you like a two pronged one turn. While obviously the rogue it gives you much more reliable pushes. The the troll gives you a two pronged one turn. So like he's he's all right in that regard, isn't he? And, Jim uh, buying into the alley of propaganda. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, two people have won have won majors on fumble with underworld, and they've both gone with a troll. I think. Oh, did they really? Yeah, yeah. I think if oh, you're playing. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I think if you're playing properly, I like the troll. Like, but I think uh, NAF style, I, you know, I do think the Roger, the Roger being so good for the one turn, is pretty, is pretty tempting, isn't it? Three oh, wow. worlds there. Whack it in, son. Follows. So the goblins coming around the back to tighten up the cage, but we we should still see a. Uh... Oh, he's blitzing, of course. Yeah. Dull. That's a much better way of protecting the ball. Well, I'm not sure about this though. I like four K. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You can. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty good actually, isn't it, Elliot? Smart man, Elliot. He is. He's got one of them big old brains, hasn't he? <laughs> he does. Yeah, <laughs> he is big brain, Elliot. Big brain, big feet, he's got it all. <laughs> but this is a two D on the ball though, right? Like you just you just you just get your yeah. snotling through and uh, and then go for this dodge and what is it? Two, three, four, five plus for two D? I mean you just you're doing this all day hundred percent. Yeah. Goblin Not in there. Shadow, Goblin in there and snotling the back and then we're going for a for a chance. Someone should tell the Rogan to stop killing its own teammates, yeah. Yeah, it's been, it's been a bit of a dicing for Nick Ordaz so far. Can't, uh... Ooh, sorry, I, I hate this already this yeah, time. Yeah, so, like, say, we say a bit of dicing, but he has made some, uh, I would say, misplays. Yeah. No, I hate this. I think I think you go for the ball here. 100%. Because right. at least with this, like, at this turn time as well, you've got a chance to convert. Yeah, big chance. Like, you know, he's yeah. good, good at was free and, like... Decent spot, he had some players. Yeah. Next thing, especially now that we put the goal, he's just got nothing. Yeah. You're hoping he doesn't score next turn rather than generating a chance for yourself to score. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like this this kind of screen is it's just not gonna get the job done. Well, almost. So, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that feels like one of the risks you just didn't need to take. You could have just left that on the floor, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. If you're not going for the five plus yeah, dodge him, just... then just leave him down. Yeah, because you, you're going to leave this roger down, right? One hundred million percent. You're exposing yourself to the chance to to get removed there. I, I just think that's another misplay. Yeah. Because what is he really going to aid to to next turn's defense? Not, not a lot. Yeah. Yeah, this is great for Elliot, isn't it? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five cars, and like about three of them have been done by himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. It's three, isn't it? He's done three to himself. It's two cars from the rogue and one from the trip up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's slaughtering his own team. <laughs> no, he failed. Uh, he failed. Uh, he killed himself on a dodge very well. Dodge you didn't need to do, in my opinion. Yeah. But I mean, he might have different lines of assessment. You know, he'll have more, maybe he's got more experience than another world than us. I, I don't know. He's definitely got more than me. <laughs> me? I've never played him. <laughs> maybe he wanted to dodge him away so that he could try and stand up the roger to kind of, you know, stop all of this for a little bit. You know, and then think maybe he's got enough to screen. Maybe he thought he could have enough to screen. So if he dodges his player away first, then the roger won't eat it, right? To stand up. Yeah. But then, so he, because if he, as it was, if he wrote, if he tried to stand the roger up, it would just eat his own player, right? So he's like, I don't want him cast. I'll dodge him. <laughs> cast, <laughs> cast dodging. Oh god. I didn't think anyone had anything about Daedal. Not for a while, but he was all right. He uh, he came yeah, back for a little bit. Not too long ago, was it? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago that he came back for a 
a brief. And he was he was doing all right as well when he was finally seeing Daffy and that. Yeah. Shawnee, no. Oh, fuck Shawnee. Yeah, <laughs> fuck he's, Shawnee. <laughs> he's still in the uh, he's still in the Dio Discord. Uh, you know, memeing around every now and then. Finally, doesn't get a knockdown. Unbelievable! It was possible to happen. This seems uh, a bit lax from Eliod, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Not sure. He's central, so what he's got he's options. Do. Yeah. Because he's got a slightly base K, so he can't give it to the gutter. Yeah. The is funny it? thing is, if he'd kept if he'd kept his bloody two heads down here, he could, would have actually had a ball sacking a ball sacking threat from behind, wouldn't he? Yeah. Like those would have, this actually just leaving him down would have been in probably a better spot than anywhere he could have got standing up. Honestly, you know, because now this this turn wouldn't have happened from Elliot. I don't know what he would have done instead, but like, there's no way he could have gone for this with uh, with a two heads guy hanging dodge around. Dodge it, yeah, it's quite scary. Hmm. Yeah, so yeah, it's, that's pretty safe, isn't it, actually? Yeah. It's pretty safe. But yeah, he would have he would have had the... Uh, the. I mean, obviously he wouldn't have done this formation at all. But had he done this formation, he would have had a 3 plus 2D with, with Stripe on the ball. So like, <laughs> like, you know, he had to... Having him down there actually kept Elliot honest, right? Like, it, it was doing something, just leaving him down there. Yeah, I did not like the dodge at all. I should have stayed there. Mm. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's Chugs' Discord, but, you know, it's uh, it's it's really Dio's. It's Dio's in spirit. <laughs> it, will always, it will forever be Dio's Discord. Really hard to chain pushing back, right, because he's got the sidestep, so even if he did, like, yeah, fill in stuff over right, here, he'd just right. go there, so he'd have to fill in both sides. It's possible, I guess, but it's uh, it's not easy. I mean, I guess he's got snotlings and goblins, right? But it's still not easy. I hate rolling a three plus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess I guess th this snotling could fill in there, and then um, it's just gonna get us a got run a dodge through the back three plus. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can just gut her all the way around, you know. And strip will do a thing. Strip, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's not bad at all, is it? Yeah, three plus to get the ball on the ground is pretty good. Yeah. But no counter score. No, no. That's why I should have gone for it last turn. Keeps him in front of two pieces. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I wants to clear them, then that's not really clearing the way, is it? No, we've still got the same lot to go. Just leaving less reactions. Yeah, you just have the snots. The, the pro, like, I think I, I think I'm okay for like putting snots places, but I feel like you know every every three plus is destined to fail, and I never really want to make a three plus with a uh, with goblin. Here we go. Gets the one D. Gets the strip. It's ball on floor for sure. Could be caught by a gutter, maybe. Yeah. Could bobble out. Shame he's just wasted two players' actions hitting a guy. Over yeah, there. I didn't get that. Just a scoring threat, I guess, is the idea, right? I guess that was the idea, but I don't like it. Ooh. Oh my god, the scat is pretty brutal. Oh. Two tackle zones. Gutter can still dodge and pick up. Super easy to clear though, and it should be fine. Or has he used all his movement? No, he's got one. He's got one, so he can go and pick it up. Oh, you can pick it up, I'm not sure. And he can maybe dodge around a goblin and a snotling and... So he's not 
going for the pickup. <clears throat> so I wasn't sure there. about the handoff that turn because the, the, the strip ball was just there. Yeah. Especially with your back end being snotlands. Yeah. I suppose he had the different plan. He, he was convinced himself he was definitely going to power the snotland on on the <laughs> on the blitz. It just didn't happen. Yeah. I would definitely pick up, yeah, I would 100% go for the pick up, like 3-2, yeah, you've got to re-roll it. So much more strong. Yeah, I don't know how you don't go for the pick up there. Just cast himself again on a dodge, by the way. <laughs> it's super easy to clear this now as well, isn't it? Pick up and hand off with the, um, the things you don't... Do you need to pick Yeah, you definitely need to pick up and hand off, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's... But very, very easy clear. He's, he's only got the gutter that can score though, right? Like nobody else on the team can score. So like that's that's what hitting these players achieved. So it's, it has to be the gutter now. So, but yeah, it still looks pretty easy. Pretty easy. Gets the power to... <laughs> <laughs> gives himself some extra movement, <laughs> aren't they? That's pretty nice, isn't it? That's pretty nice from Elliot. Big brain. Big brain, Elliot. Hmm, maybe not that big brain, though, eh? Because no, now... It's got to be in standards. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Yeah, maybe it's not that big a brain. Play from Elliot. Oh, my Ooh. God. Yeah, he wants to troll in for the assist, you know. Right instead of left. No, he's got to push him left because he's got to hit him with his clan rat, right? Because otherwise you'd have stuck him on him. Like there's no one else activated over here. Push the goblin. Goes away from the throw after you take the hit with the snotlin. Yeah, but yeah, he gets pick the power. Gets the yeah. power. Had Got to the get the power, though. Yeah, had to get the troll activation as well. <laughs> and just rolled all of the dice. And now will he roll a two for the pickup and be completely justified in his uh <laughs> There you go, double yeah, GFI yeah. with a reroll. Gets him. It's just the one GFI, wasn't it? Oh yeah, because he chained him forward one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forgot. Sorry. Sorry. Tiny bit of a sketchy turn seven for Rally, but fine. Yeah. yeah, it was it was a bit sketch. But yeah, nine versus maybe fourteen now in the second <laughs> half this is <laughs> Oh god. This is looking pretty grim for Nick or Daz. Yes, find me and my being so yeah. fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on holiday and you and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why <laughs> about... the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thanks, Timmy. <laughs> about three hours away. Versus Galentio, who's also in Era BB. Very exciting. But really hard draw for dwarves, you know, pro elves. Can't can't emphasize enough how, how tough pro elves are for uh, dwarves. So then they're the natural counter, aren't they? Natural counter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the armor seven. I'm a seven elves, the natural predator of the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, if you believe in uh, in you know what 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 non dwarf coaches always say, then that's going to be a really tough match. <laughs> yeah, we'll struggle with that one. <laughs> yeah. What did you get on the sort? You got three. <laughs> got three, yes, it is 14 versus nine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 14 versus nine in a merry match. Oh my god. PI. Oh, but Elliot's got three stunned, including the ball carrier. Where but he's got a touchback anyway. 
Oh, he's got the Sludge Pack, has he? Yeah, I've been something called Even with three players, Dundee's still got more players. <laughs> 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 yeah, get the hell away from that stripper. Everybody is. Elliot's clever enough to count every player on the opposing team, whereas I only. Sound like my wife, Jim. Yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the pie. Yep. Yeah, the rat race thing. Hello, Jeff. Hi. Off he goes. A short kick and chase, interesting. Glorious by me. Pro, I wonder, I, sorry, I wonder carry if on. Pull, I was just saying, I wonder if Nick will, will be able to pull anything out of the bag here. Yeah. He has to, has to play a little bit balls to the wall, I think, because he's just going to get more and more whittled down. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough, isn't it? Like he's because you can't just like you can't just be totally stupid, reckless. You can't <laughs> you can't just be wreck like just totally stupidly reckless, right? You've got to like think how is anything going to happen here, <laughs> which isn't an easy question to answer anyway. And then try and make it happen, like. But he can't just like chuck dice and hope for the best. I don't think. I think he's got to try and think and. But I don't know what the answer is. Like it's 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 pretty easy to give up hope now, but he's got to not give up hope and try and work out how he's going to get back in the game. Not just not just you know do not just do dumb shit. He's got to he's got to think and and try. But it's really tough, isn't it? It's easy as commentators to just say, "Oh, it's over." Say it's over. Say it's over. But uh, it it isn't. Right? It isn't over. But. He's got to. He's not only got to get lucky. He's got to give himself the chance to get lucky in the right ways, and remain hyper focused in the face of it being completely over. It wasn't over at the end of his turn four at all. It wasn't at all, Laurie. <laughs> yeah. Has Elliot got anyone in his en end zone? No, no, he hasn't got anybody in his end zone, so he's He's got that going for him. Yeah, the strippers coming in. Basically. Yeah, I like I like the tag on the on the thrower. Yeah. The only thing is just guaranteeing the blitz on your go around. Right? Yes, that is the problem. Alright, a double tag. I mean, yeah, you're still guaranteeing the glitch on you. Yeah, and you've got you the runner, but, but at least now you're guaranteeing that this guy isn't free, probably. So, which is good because he would have definitely handed back off to him. I think. Yeah, hundred percent. Two plus handoff for for sure. Hands protection. Definitely. Could he foul him? Could could you? Well, here's a question. Might have just... been able to with that one with lots of dodges. Yeah, yeah, make a few dodges. This this one could this one could just dodge all through the way through the yeah, middle, which yeah. has got basically no chance of success. But you know, are you that desperate that this looks good? Like you could do one at a time, right? Just go to your pop dodge, declare a foul action, and then go like one. Yeah, I think I would. One, another one, another one, another one. I oh, know this way, this this up there. So one, two, three, four, five dodges. There's a chance, like you can just stop if you ever pop dodge and don't want in nine. It looks a lot stronger, doesn't it? Having a goblin stood there and, and no thrower, <laughs> it like looks amazing. So, so I think you have to. I think you have to try. I think you have to try one at a time and hope for the best. Nope. I think we're at that level of desperation. Yeah, for sure. And it just gives you your goat runner like loads more value as well. Oh, he's doing it with this guy. But I think mm. he has stacked them. Yeah, he did stack Not going them. the right way, basically. Yeah, oh, no, it's the same, isn't it? No, no, this is an extra dodge. Oh, it is. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's still in tackle so on here, whereas if he'd gone here, he wouldn't have. Oh, uh, yeah. But maybe he wanted him over that side. 
Like maybe you just literally want him out here rather than fouling. But I would have fouled. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Elliot does have a whole team's worth of players free now, <laughs> so, so it's not... Do, um, do, do you want a sideline cage here? Uh... As in, like, why are we so close to the edge? I, I don't like the opportunity of the ball going down next turn, scattering off and going deep He's... into your own half with the gutter around. He's got sidestep though, hasn't he, if, if, in case that happens. But yeah, he is a bit... A bit far over, I would have rather. I'm just thinking with the with the bobble box, not with it coming off him being on the side. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, good point. Maybe he just wanted to be out range of the wrestle, but yeah, I think in in one is rather being in one, like just keep options open as much as anything as well. Yeah. It'd be super hard, but I just thought. Yeah, no, I wasn't scared of the bobble box, but um, probably should have been. <laughs> but I would have just been more in. I would have just been further in just for options. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just like to do it. I mean, it's a minimal thing, right? Mm. But possible. Not to be discounted. Are we going for a 4 plus dodge off to smash a uh, smash the gutter? <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? Because 100% mm. that's the target, I would say. I was going to say smash a snotling, and then I and then I saw the gutter, and I was like, no, of course not, <laughs> <laughs> of course not. We're hitting the gutter runner, one million percent. Gets the four plus dodge off. Gets the knockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the removal. <laughs> he does use the apple, yeah, he's kind of got to, right, at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah, has to. He's got to pretend that there's a chance. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, there still is. Uh, it's Elliot's drive, right? So he gets the one turn at the end. We can still see over there. Yeah, but he's, he's capped at nine players. Isn't yeah, he? I, he's pretty rubbish, but <laughs> it's still... Yeah, there's still a chance. There is still a chance. It's as rubbish as it is, there is a chance. It's not over. Wow, look at that, a removal. Wow. <laughs> Elliot should have just BM napped it, shouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> seriously injured snot. <laughs> Honestly, it was badly hurt. It says seriously in serious injury, but it's not. It's just a badly hurt. But it's a pretty annoying bug as well if you want to use your app or right. You've got to look at the dice log. To work out whether to use your app or you can't just rely on what the game tells you. It's not over, but for it's about Nick as close just... to over as it gets without yeah. being actually over. Surprised. Mm -hmm. Surprised he didn't blitz in a way so that the. Uh, Imagine being uh, so fucking obsessed with that that you about to go on cover. holiday yeah. and, and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you I just decide to play more hit, fucking rats. What the it's fuck? Not get like, hit. The fuck would anyone play that much yeah, fucking rats? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Are you hurt, Richard? <laughs> Yeah, it's annoying though, isn't it? Because it said it said seriously injured, but he was probably hurt like that. Is a bug with stunting. Now, hopefully, Elliot will get out a chunt's column here and uh, <laughs> 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 and make a more sensible cage nearer the middle. Not too deep though. He probably has to blitz the snot first, right? Because he's blitzing yeah, whatever. Yeah, bl blitz happens. starts first one. Yeah. Yeah, and then if you make sure he's down, then you can. Keep everybody in range. Oh, wow, it's bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, like, he's completely safe, so I guess do it while you're completely safe before you move the guys away as well. Maybe his plan is to completely abandon. Oh, he's gonna foul the gutter. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> so he's not moving up. He's just fouling the gutter. I'd like to see him come on in. Move everybody back. He's just gonna move everything back to foul the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Turn 11. There's plenty of time. Yeah, loads of time. You're not slow, are you? No. So just, uh, just, yes. Yeah, so, oh, that was pretty genius by Elliot. 
Oh, so he's going to blitz the um, the ball man then. Yeah, yeah, blitz the core and, and get a big big cage to foul. Yeah, really, really nice. Yep, this is round two, winner's bracket, unconcerned elf. So whoever loses isn't out of this game, which is uh, of, of the tournament, which is nice, isn't it? There's some spicy games in the loser's bracket where, of course, the loser will be eliminated, which is adds a certain amount of uh, interest there, doesn't it? But this is still uh, still super interesting. Oof. Nice, nice little stun there. <laughs> Just getting a huge foul. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> That helps a bit, but I'm still going for the uh, hit on the ball here, as uh, Nico does. Mm. Only gets a stun after all that. Oh, brilliant play, though. Diced. So, yeah, so this goblin does a 3 plus to here. This guy... Oh, he's got a dodge to get to there. Shouldn't the snotlin have been... Uh, the last one he moved up and left. Yeah. Yep, I agree. 100%. Oh, so this, this, he's got Snotling here. So the Snotling could GFI to there, and then this Goblin can dodge to here. Uh, and then you've got a Goblin 1D on the ball. Like, it's not it's not the worst thing ever, is it? No. Um, Especially not at this stage. Yeah. Or I guess oh no he's got guard on the trial. I was gonna say you could you could, you could just uphill this guy right and then you, then you could maybe wrestle him. But no, it looks like he's going for this. One Fandy. <laughs> exactly J five. Yeah. The bad thing is you kind of got to power him right, which is sucks. But I think he's, he's gone for it. I think he had to. Skull. <laughs> <laughs> power! Oh! Ah! oh, he gets the side stepped up, up though, which is pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, could could land him quite a few tackles though. Has to follow and hope for a good scatter. Oh, could have caught it. <laughs> he could have scored, right? Mm. Yeah, he could have scored if it if it had been like if it had just the gone to him. Scatter, yeah. If if he caught to it, or if he caught it, or if it, if he'd failed to catch it and then it had bounced forward, that would have been amazing. Yeah, he could have just three three through the goblin. But he, he could have scored right going this way. Would have been amazing, just just blitzing and parrying and scoring. Well, it was a good effort. Yeah, yeah. Now Elliot's got to probably go back to normal a bit and <laughs> not get a massive <laughs> massive gang foul. <laughs> Slathering in the mouth, honey. <laughs> Open with the foul while you still got the assists. <laughs> wow. It's the full power on the PC we needed, apparently. Mm. Another cast. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and he's Ooh. caught it. That's uh, it's quite good for Nico. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to get a chance to uh, hit the ball next turn. Yeah, sure. Probably not strip it because we're probably we're probably committed to this six man foul again. <laughs> and now he now he gets to blitz him with mighty blow and then come back <laughs> to assist the foul still. <laughs> Doesn't power him. 
Ooh, I'm surprised about that because you could have just left him stuck on the troll, I think. I think he's worried about the uphill, isn't he? It's an mm -hmm. exposed ball. Just a yes. Diced. Retags. I'm surprised he didn't bother tagging the wrestler, right? Just one more dice roll for him to roll. But he, he wants to foul next turn, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, another Kaz for the Roger, this time the correct team. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly even it out now. Yeah, yeah. Yep, this 190 TV Roger is <laughs> nearly breaking <laughs> even on who he's killed. Wrestle, wrestle, run around. Hey. Eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. And that that dodge in is only a four, right? Yeah. So it's a three, four for a two D. I mean, it's pretty decent. It's obviously what he's doing. That's why he had to cancel this assist because otherwise it'd be a one D because of the gun. <laughs> Well, maybe you don't yeah, because he's, the one he's turn. Start thinking, yeah, I was going to say he's going to start thinking about the one turn. The problem is I don't think you win in overtime if you get the one turn. This is this is the this is the yeah, problem that I have with this. Big turn. Even if he gets the one turn and makes it two two, how does he win in overtime with like no players? I mean, he's removed a few now, right? He's capped Elliot at thirteen. Oh, he tried the he tried the vomit and he rolled a one. And hit himself, but didn't knock himself over. Nearly did, though. One off. Oh. Get slip out. It's going to definitely hand off to the gutter this turn, isn't he? <laughs> Just so he can keep fouling the opposing gutter. Must <laughs> he? Hands off to the throw, but no, he's handing off to the cutter. Oh yeah, I guess he could have just handed off the yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, his plan is to foul the. <laughs> the plan yeah, he just replaced the throw with the the go. <laughs> yeah. Roger MVP for both teams, yeah. Here we go, stompy stomp. Hey, <laughs> there you go. Now the one turn is no longer either. an option. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, pretty much GG. Well, it is GG, isn't it? Can it do it with a seven? Not with those numbers, right? No, I, I think it is. I think now it is 100% GG, which is why I would have rolled the thing. Like that's the thing. The one turn. Yeah. Was even if you get the chance at it, isn't you know you're saving your reels for the one turn. You've got to have your got to not not killed and win in overtime somehow as well so I think that was his really only chance was to like get the 2D on the ball kill the snotling catch the scatter have Elliot roll terrible dice trying to knock him over and win 2-1 in normal time it wasn't GG nine turns ago <laughs> god you lot are terrible <laughs> But I mean, yeah, it was, it was it was a bit of a dicing, wasn't it? Yeah, it's definitely went towards Elliot. But I'd I'd say like the first half and a bit more. There was definitely mistakes Nico kept like consistently making. Yeah, I, I think I think his build was worse. Yeah, for sure. Nothing. His build probably quite effective against not underworld. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Underworld, you know, rolling badly against Underworld and Underworld rolling well against you is... Yeah, he knackered on you. Well, there's <laughs> much, nearly zero agency in that situation. Yeah. 
and then also when Elliot's the coach as well, you know, yeah. that's even even worse. But but even if it wasn't, even if it was just random, random, you know, any team build, any coach, what you do, what do you do when you roll badly and they roll well? Uh, that's not, that's not really. Well. And running against yourself, yeah, when you cast yeah. three of your own players, cast <laughs> yourself pretty hard. Yeah. And they're just casting you every time they hit you. There's not a lot you can do. This is Rambo following the world. Scumbag Elliot. Whether whether he's thinking that he can do the one turn possibly with the Rogue, I don't know. Yeah. It's pretty hard. It's doable with move seven, I think, and frenzy maybe, but uh, just player wise, I don't think you have the numbers to do it. No. You can uh, you can get this clan rat to here with a double GFI, which um would put him technically possible to hit. Hit the gutter, right? Doesn't follow though. Whereas now he, he can't even reach to threaten, right? Even the double GFI. Yeah, he's not on the base now. So he, hit, he had to follow and dodge away because now, now he can't hit the ball. So it's still gonna still gonna stall the turn, isn't he? Yeah, for sure. He had he had to dodge there. He had to follow and dodge and then go here. And then he would have been able to reach the gutter for a 2D with the rest of it. I think it might just let it go to overtime for the memes. <laughs> he could do, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit... That was a bit... A bit of a misplay there, because this is just not, not good enough, right? Forcing Elliot to 1 in 36 is not... Elliot is not going to care at all about being forced to roll a 1 in 36. Whereas if, he, if, he, if he'd done the extra dodge and he's in range, then all of a sudden, you know becomes a little bit of a problem for Elliot, right? How does he how does he get him, get him down there? That, that would have actually been a bit of a problem. So even there, as, as over as it looked, <laughs> as completely over as it looked, if he'd, uh, if he'd added a 3 plus dodge into that play, he would have had something. Not a lot, but something. I mean, yeah, obviously Elliot would have done, would have done this. <laughs> but still, I mean, that's 4-3 to 2D the ball, right? 4-3 to 2-D the ball is pretty okay. 4-3-2-2 to 2-D the ball. Like, Elliot probably scores, right, and gives him a two-turn. And okay, yeah. he probably does nothing with the two-turn because he's got, like, five players left. <laughs> but it gives you something, some kind of ludicrously tiny chance. Nice. Even if you got everything back, you'd have eight players for a two turn. But you know, eight players, you can. It can still. It could have still happened. I think he had to give himself a chance. That's it. As, as small as it was. And he's. he's I mean, he's. He's given himself technically given himself a chance here. One thirty six. <laughs> Cruz's next game. Um, I don't know. I'll see. I'll see if it's been organised. Well, it might. It might be on here if it's been organised. I don't know how up to date Breaky T is. If he's put the times on. No, he hasn't put the times on for round two. Oh yeah, the rounds are on for two. Yeah, the rounds are the rounds are on. You've just got to do it from the. Uh, you've got to access it from the play-in winners bracket round two official seeding that has the, the times on. So Cruz is on <laughs> tomorrow at nine fifteen UTC. Versus Plotinus, who I've got no idea who Plotinus is. It's one of the guys that bought Blood Bowl three, I think. He is yeah, dwarves. He's dwarves. That's who he is. He was top two Skaven on the ladder. Oh, I forgot about side stuff. Yeah, he's cream crackered. Nothing he can do, is it? Cream crackered. Yeah. 
Well, he can use his roger to throw a snotling if if he has four teammates. Can they throw teammates? No. I <laughs> <laughs> can't, can they? No, no. They're actually not the best big guy. <laughs> God, now that's going to gloat about any. <laughs> yeah. Little oh, bit. God. Hello, Keat. Yes, it is Naf. <laughs> I mean, there could be a riot, uh, or sorry, timeout as it's called now. There could be a timeout, and he could get the two turn, and then almost inevitably lose an overtime. But there would be a chance. He might have even been top four, I don't know, but he, he got the top two Skaven slot. <laughs> Hello, chump. It was not. It was not. <laughs> It was not a right, it was a perfect defence that Elliot doesn't even waste anybody's time taking advantage of. <laughs> <laughs> because it's over. Yeah, it really is over it's now. Over. There's no need to play right, well, I've, well played, Elliot. Yep. Uh, unlucky, Nico. Yeah, just got some rough dice. Yeah, really brutal dice. You know, like... A... There, was, there was the odd chance. Like, that's the thing. It's Underworld, so you will get the odd chance, right? So if he yeah. hadn't had his whole team cast out... Um, then maybe he could have done something, but uh, there was also points where he should have told Rish and he didn't. I felt like, yeah, 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 for sure that wrestle hit like that. Really How do you mean so fucking yeah, obsessed a bit with loose as well, about to go on holiday <laughs> and, and like you the the qualify fight, like, with uh, the team? Yeah, yeah but it's, it's, the, it's the whole game, isn't it? The thing is, yes, we've got to run yeah, it's the whole game. Why would anyone play so. that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ! It's uh, it's understandable to uh, to go a bit crazy trying to get it. Hello. 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 That was a bit sorry, wasn't it? It was crazy, <laughs> wasn't it? I did, I did enjoy when the battle got killed. <laughs> <laughs> we did too. But you were we sitting there with your troll thing. going, ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah. There, there were a couple of troll supremacies under my breath, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a icing, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, that's okay, isn't it? You'll, you'll take that. Oh, yes. All the way to the bank. Yeah, congratulations. Elliot, the first player now with two wins, I think. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And get the next three days off. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, the, more, than, more than that, right? Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. We're not playing until January. Christmas now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's it. Done for a week, a week or two or something. Yeah. Woohoo. Oh, that actually feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to play football, thank God. <laughs> I feel like I'm coming down with something as well, so it's the perfect timing. I was like, oh, I'm going to be ill, having to play Blood Bowl. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, well, yeah, congratulations. I mean, we might as well wrap it up. I was going to wait until until it was officially over, but, you know, seeing as you're here and it is over. Hey! Well, <laughs> the that perfect... sums up the Rat Ogre's game, I guess. Oh, yes, the perfect ending. You failed alone. it. Good. <laughs> Amazing. What a perfect way to end the match. Um, oh, I thought he died. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If only. Never lucky, eh, Elliot? <laughs> you dice. What can I say? <laughs> Never lucky. Um, well, there you go. What a match. Um, what a match. Uh, very unlucky. Nico does. Very lucky, Elliot. But also very well played, Elliot. So there you go. Yeah, Congratulations. Well for the moment, for the most. In, in parts. <laughs> In fact, I love the six-man foul on the cutter. Oh yeah, wow! Well, that mean that that was well played, right? That had to be done. <laughs> Brilliant. But, uh, Rogue MVP, yeah. Rogue should have got MVP for both teams, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> he did, yeah, he did make a few casts for his own team, didn't he? But yeah, he, did, he also did a few casts on his own team. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, he lost the game, and then and then once once the game was like pretty much yeah. over, he just randomly yeah. made he cast a goblin or two at the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, well, there you go. Yep, yep. Congrats, congrats, and thank you uh, to Hancock and also for Elliot to join us for a little bit to gloat about <laughs> Troll Supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yep, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.